Hey everyone, today's it is about when you heal them and get overwhelmed and pass out. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. In the dimly lit alley, already delayed, urban landscape, you and your two beloved heroes, Katsuki and Ichiro, faced off against a group of powerful villains. The mission had been a high-risk one, but you had all faced danger countless times before. With trust and love binding your hearts, you were an unstoppable trio. As the battle raged on, the villains unleashed their quirks with restless determination. You, Katsuki, and Ijira fought back, using your unique abilities to protect each other and the innocent bystanders caught in the crossfire. But the villains were cunning, and one of them managed to land a devastating blow on Katsuki, sending him crashing into a wall. Ichiro too was injured in the chaos, and you knew you had to act fast. Summoning your healing quirk, you rushed to their side, your hands glowing with a soothing golden light. Hold on, you two. You worked. Your voice filled with determination. I won't let anything happen to you. Your quirk worked quickly, mending their wounds and easing their pain. Katsuki's your determination never wavered as he met your eyes. Thanks, Wyon. Now let's finish this. Ijiro, with his characteristic grin, clapped a hand on your shoulder. You're a lifesaver, Wyon. Let's show these villains what we're made of. With your new strength, you, Katsuki, and Ijiro launched a final explosive attack that anticipated the remaining villains. Victory was yours, but it had come at a cost. As the adrenaline faded, you felt the weight of your own injuries. The toll of using your quirk to heal your partners was taking its toll on you, and your vision started to blur. Moyan. Katsuki's voice was laced with concern as he rushed to your side, his hand gripping your shoulder. You don't look so good, are you right? You tried to submit a reassuring smile, but the world around you spun. I... I'm just a little tired. Don't worry about me. Ijiro, equally concerned, knelt beside you. You did an amazing job down there. But now it's our turn to take care of you. As they helped you sit down. Your strength drained rapidly. The healing process had taken more out of you than you had anticipated. You could hear Katsuki's voice, filled with urgency, but it seemed distant, like an echo in a tunnel. Well, stay with us. But despite your best efforts, your eyelids grew heavy, and you succumbed to the darkness. When you finally opened your eyes, you found yourself in a familiar, cozy room. The soft glow of sunlight filtered through the curtains. And you realized that you were in your shared apartment with Katsuki and Ijiro. Sitting up carefully, you found the two of them dozing in chairs nearby. Their injuries had been tended to, and they were resting peacefully. Relief washed over you, knowing that they were safe. Gently, you reached out to brush a strand of hair from Katsuki's forehead. A nice thing, a sleepy murmur from him. Ijiro stirred as well, his eyes slowly opening. Wyan, you're awake, he said, rubbing his eyes and blinking in the morning light. You nodded, smiling weakly. Yeah, thanks for taking care of me. Katsuki's eyes snapped open as he straightened in his chair. His gaze locked into yours. You passed out after healing us. You scared the hell out of us, Wyon. You couldn't help but feel guilty for causing them worry. But you knew it was a consequence of using your quirk to its limit. I'm sorry. I just couldn't bear to see you hurt. And your smile was soft and full of affection. 
we know, Lyon. That just how you are. You'd do anything for us, and we'd do the same for you. Katsuki reached out to take your hand. His grip gentle, yet firm. We're a team, remember? We look out for each other, no matter what. Tears welled up in your eyes. Not from meekness this time, but from the overwhelming love and gratitude you felt for those two incredible heroes who have become your partners in every sense of the word. As the three of you sat there, hands entwined, you knew that your bond was unbreakable. Whether facing villains or the challenges life threw your way, you were a team bound together by trust, love, and the unwavering belief that as long as you had each other, you could overcome anything. With a renewed sense of warmth and comfort, you stayed there. In that moment, feeling the incredible connection you shared with Katsuki and Ijiro. The events of the mission had tested your limits, but they had also reinforced the strength of your love and partnership. After a while, Katsuki spoke up, his voice softer now, filled with a mixture of tenderness and gratitude. Why on? We saved our asses back then. I don't know what we'd do without you. Kirishima chimed in. His red hair tousled from sleep, but his smile radiant. Yeah, you're a secret weapon, Wyan. You chuckled, feeling a bit more energized by their words. Yeah, I'll don't get used to it. I don't plan on passing out after every mission. Kasuki leaned over, pressing a gentle kiss to your forehead. Just promises you'll take care of yourself, too. You nodded, touched by their concern. I promise. As long as we have each other, there's nothing we can't handle. The three of you settled into a comfortable silence, savoring the peace and togetherness of the moment. The world outside may have been chaotic and filled with danger, but in this small, shared space, you found solace in the love and support of your two heroes, your partners, your heart's protectors. As the day wore on, the sun cast its warm glow into your apartment, bathing the room in a soft, golden light. You knew that no matter what challenges laid ahead, you were ready to face them, with Katsuki and Ijiro by your side, your bonds stronger than ever, and your love unwavering. You were always going to be with them, whether they like it or not, they were forced with you, and you knew that they will never actually dislike that. Thank you guys for listening, I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!